All right, boys, welcome back. So this is going to be our first video of the New Year's. I hope you guys had a great New Year. We didn't upload yesterday because we were busy just with the boys celebrating the massive W of Black Club Mobile. I'll have a video about it later on, but Black Club Mobile globally hit, managed to hit $15 million, I think, May, which is insane because if you were sticking around when the JP and KR version was out before the global launch, there was a point where people thought this game was going to flop and might not even get a global release. So I'm very happy to see that. It's made my mood this morning a lot better. So today, what I'll do, I know some of you look pretty know about this now, but I wanted to wait until I actually managed to get one of the pieces to talk about it. So that's what we did today. But if you guys are not aware, you can actually get a guaranteed five star plus off your choice just by maxing out the world reputations. Essentially, when you take a world to level four, as you can see right now, my world three, and this is what I've been doing for the last month. Every single time I've done bond, every single time I've done my memory hole, I've always made sure to max out my world three and just constantly keep on doing this for a whole month. Where you can see right now, if we go to our adventure journal, when you do max out world three, get to world four, you're gonna get this chest. And in this chest, is going to give you guarantee SSR of your choice. However, you cannot get the characters, only a duplicate. So using this on someone like Mars when I don't have the character, it's not useless because I can give it to him when I actually get the character, but I'm not going to get the character. And as you can see, there's not really that many characters to choose from. So today we're going to break down who should you be going for. And it's pretty obvious by the title, it should probably be Radis. So before we go through who to do, Pat, let's go through how do you even max out your world reputation. So it's pretty simple. Most of your level is going to come from just playing a patrol stage. Now, I will say for the first month when you level up a lot of characters, it's going to be um, very easy because, well, you're leveling up your bond for your characters. But if you're already max bond for, let's say, everyone you want to use, then it's going to be kind of a problem. So I will say you're not guaranteed it in one day. This took a whole month of grinding, basically, and maxing out the bond of literally every character you can see here. Everyone, everyone that's LR right now is all the characters it took to basically get this bond to level four. There are a few other little stuff here. Uh, for World 3, you can't actually fish. So, unfortunately, it's going to slow it down. Not as, like, crazy amount. But that does give you a little bit of points each day. Also, the memory shard, if you complete it, it will give you 500. Doing the citizen request will actually give you a little more points as well. These are just little things that you should do anyway. And it will help out a little bit. But like I said, the ones that are going to give you the most points is going to be, yeah, the patrol stages. As you can see, each time you clear a mission, normally I was doing around hard and normal, depending on the characters I was using. Because you do have to have a certain amount of CC to actually skip the nightmare. And if you're trying to level up a character level one, you're probably not going to do it. So most of the time, it was definitely normal and hard. But you can see all the points you're going to get each time you do a certain thing that correlates towards a certain world, right? But a big one you can see right here is clearing the memory hall. You can get 250 points and around each day it's going to be like 1 to 2k maybe. Obviously, you need 52k to level up or like 30k last time. But uh, yeah, it adds up. So with that being said, you want to make sure when you do a memory hole, you actually do select the world you're trying to level up here. So for example, you may not want to do level 5 because it's the highest one. You might think you're going to get better rates. You want to make sure you're doing the world you've been leveling up. So for me personally, I've been always, since day 1, been doing world 3. So I've always done the level 3 off this one here. Because I'd rather try and get the medias pieces uh, rather than obviously uh, the skill pages and obviously just doing it for a whole month honestly that basically is one world level reputation going up i mean maybe not from level four to five but from one to two from three to four it can actually really help out a lot so that's something i really recommend you start doing now if you want to start farming towards this i've obviously just done level four now and you can see the rewards for getting level four aren't actually that great you don't get anything as soon as you get level four you're basically good to go because you can see as you level up getting level one is obviously important to get this piece here then getting level two it's gonna be nice to get these as well each week and then a level three by far pretty much important one to get one of these each week as well but when you get level four you get your free dupe and you move on now you are meant to do this for every single world so right now i'm gonna go towards world one i did world three because world three level three gave me the universal one of the actual uh, gift box set where this one is going to give me attackers so it's gonna be a bit better for obviously when i level up like you know my attacker characters are typically the ones you want to go for anyway so uh yeah these are obviously nice you get a skill page here too so each world does give something a little bit different you can see world five is going to give healers and also the debuffers no supporters 
And if we actually jump over towards JP, who's like two world ahead of us, once again, the updates are always going to continue. Each time we get a new world, we're going to always get a free duplicate and a bunch of free rewards here. So it's something to always work on through the life cycle of this game. And you can see the actual rewards, even for JP, they never change. So it's more like you should be saving them because they're always going to be the starter characters. So yeah, that is basically everything you need to know about the bond level up for obviously world reputation. Like I just say, for me, it took out a whole month to get to level four on the world three. And that was level up every single character. To where now, well, I don't really have that many bonds to level up until I get newer characters or if I want to level up an SR, for example, maybe still some of these actual SSRs that I want to use. But by far, the thing that helps out the most and a lot just passively is going to be collecting the right memory hole for each world that you want to do because you do get 250 points per run and just doing that at least 1k a day, basically doing what, four runs, more even, you're going to get upwards to 1 to 2k and that for a whole month. Each month can give you upwards to like 30k. So uh, yeah, definitely make sure to select the right memory hole when you are farming the certain world that you want to level up. Okay, so now the big question is, who do you actually select here? Now, I did already get one extra from the major passes, so kind of a two-in-one here. Who should you be selecting? Boys, I'll tell you right now, it's a simple one, at least for me. It's Radis. Radis is a character, if we jump over to JP... Is a character still kind of used today? Okay, so if we go towards the JP rank, and you can see someone is actually using Charlotte, which is a surprise. But that's only because the mono red meta is actually a thing with obviously Black Aster. So I guess if you want to start preparing for obviously Aster and go for uh, Charlotte, but there are obviously better options, but still you can use her. But for the looks of it, I don't think you need to have a dupe tower. I don't think dupe tower does really anything necessary. I think it just buffs up her damage herself towards mark targets, so it's not that great. The only thing you care about is actually um, just getting the mark effect on. But yeah, Radis is, uh, as you can see right here, still being used to this day and there are still a few other characters i think it's literally just uh mars and lotus just because they're a duo character they are still very very good but i'd say at that point you still want to have those characters you know maxed out you want to have both of them maxed out a little bit but for me personally i'm going to be going towards radis and it's because of his passive it's a simple one if you take damage you can have a chance to inflict taunt and at 50 percent on a six star or five star is um yeah, very, very good because you got to remember, Torn makes it so you can't actually use, you know, your buff abilities. If you want to use, like, Noel Shield, for example, if you want to use, uh, let's say, who is now, it? like, Ghost, for example, Charmy Heal cards, you know, important skill effects that buff up the other team. It's still such a really good passive that you do passively, so you, you definitely take it. Plus, once again, getting more stats is obviously very, very good as well. Another character that I'm interested in is going to be William. The passive is a 50% chance to grant a 10% increased mobility upon taking damage. Massive, by the way. But more importantly, he gets more speed to guarantee to start first. He already kind of starts first, but assuming you're versing a Vatos, so maybe they got the speed uh, crave set on as well. You know, getting more speed is always nice for William. William is not going to be too crazy because he's more of an actual attack buffer, but it still works in a lot of teams as well, other than just buffer attack. But maybe when we start to get more attack characters in the game, like the new Yami coming out soon on JP, Maybe we see a surge of William. Uh, Black Astar, he does base of attack, but not really a turn one new car. And also, you want to use red characters. Maybe if we do get Mary Leona, she's base of attack, then maybe we might see a surge of Williams. But no, that's not for a while. So right now, I would say you need to have uh, yeah, him maxed out. Obviously, the next one is going to be Lotus. Lotus, you do not need to get 5-star. I mean, you get more, you know, stats, which is nice. But honestly, look at the difference it makes from 2-star to 5-star. It's 5% chance to evict a 12% or attack lower. And the other one is 25% chance. And it's 10%. So, uh, it doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, obviously, if you have the choice to get him, then sure, go for it if you just put him. But, uh, yeah, you really don't need to get this guy 5-star. 2-star generally is good enough. So, I wouldn't waste my dupes to get in the 5-star. If you somehow, like, want to win, you want to use Lotus, and you still use Lotus, then sure. Use that one dupe chest and maybe get in the 2-star. But I wouldn't use 2 to get him. You're going to put him a lot of time to the future anyway. Mars is a simple one. You just reduce damage taken when you get attacked. So, uh, yeah, for at least like these characters, Mars and Lois, it's just better to do them out to get more stats. But for me, it's not something you want to chase, right? Where for me, for example, I want to use Radis. So getting this to taunt characters is going to be very, very nice. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be going for right now. So, yeah, boys, to wrap up the video, like I said, the go-to picks are going to be uh, Radis because he's actually still used a little bit on JP and KR. Obviously, Lotus and Mars, but like you don't need to get them duped out for the passives. more just to get good stats and sure to have the passive anyway but like it's not gonna make a big big difference from when they were obviously at like one star where radis getting that 50 to one is um is a massive difference from five star to two star from two star to obviously zero star it's uh very very important and then william getting the extra speed if you want to go for him if that's something that interests you a little bit then um i will go for that so personally my, myself once again radis second for me personally because i like the combo and like the style of play would be william 
and then uh, probably load to some Mars. But I'm not a big fan of using them right now. I'm, I'm kind of kind of over them. I did it so much in JP and Kaya. I kind of want to start using other things. So I'm not really a big two fan of Mars. So yeah, boys, that's gonna wrap up the video. If it did help out, then help me out by leaving a like and comment as well. And uh, yeah, let me know who you lot are picking for your guaranteed SSRs. Once again, I'm probably gonna work on World One now to get that other copy of Radis. But who knows? By then, maybe I've already pulled two copies of Radis, and then we'll start working on William, and then so on. So boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.